As most of us are aware, we are the last survivors of the many different and diverse species of hominin that once existed. We are just one tread of an evolutionary web spanning millions of years. A lot of our extinct cousins are relatively well known, such as Neanderthals or Homo erectus. There are many theories as to why we outlived all of the rest, from outcompeting to interbreeding. Today we are looking at a lesser known, short lived, but relatively recent genus of extinct hominin known as Paranthropus. Paranthropus, also known as the robust Australopithecine, was an extinct genus of hominins that lived between 2.9 and 1.2 million years ago. These stout and heavily built creatures are believed to have shared a common ancestor with the Homo genus. This video aims to shed light on the key characteristics, evolutionary significance and contributions of Paranthropus to our understanding of human evolution. Paranthropus species, including Paranthropus robustus, Paranthropus aethiopicus, and Paranthropus boisoi, exhibited several distinctive morphological features. They possessed a robust cranial structure, with a prominent sagittal crest and a large, thick jaw. Their molars were significantly larger than those of contemporary hominins, indicating they had a specialised diet that likely included tough plant materials. Their large, flat teeth were well suited for grinding and chewing tough vegetation, such as roots, tubers and nuts. The development of powerful jaw muscles and robust cranial features enabled them to exert the necessary force to break down these challenging food sources. This dietary adaptation likely played a crucial role in their survival and expansion within their respective habitats. The study of Paranthropus has significantly contributed to our understanding of human evolutionary history. By examining their unique morphological features and dietary adaptations, scientists have gained insights into the ecological conditions and selective pressures that shaped our ancestors' evolution. Paranthropus' robust cranial structure and powerful jaws provide evidence of the evolutionary trade-offs between feeding efficiency and brain size. This suggests that development of larger brains in Homo species may have been accompanied by changes in dietary preferences and adaptations. Given the marked anatomical and physical differences with modern great apes, there may be no modern comparison for Australopithecine societies, so comparisons drawn with modern primates may not entirely be accurate. Because of this, gauging how this animal would have acted socially can be difficult. Paranthropus had pronounced sexual dimorphism, with males notably larger than females, which is commonly correlated with a male-dominated polygamous society. They may have had a harem society, similar to modern forest-dwelling silverback gorillas, where one male has exclusive breeding rights to a group of females. As male-female size disparity is comparable to gorillas based on their facial dimensions, and younger males were less robust than older males. However, if Paranthropus preferred a savanna habitat, a multi-male society would have been more productive to better defend a troop from predators in the more exposed environment, much like today's savanna baboons. There is also evidence Paranthropus had the ability to use stone tools. Although one toolkits were uncovered at an excavation site on the home of Peninsula in western Kenya. Stone tools called Oldowan toolkits are used to pound and shape other rocks or plant materials. These tools are thought to have been between 2.6 and 3 million years old. These tools were also found near Paranthropus teeth. Bone tools dating between 2.3 and 0.6 million years ago have also been found in abundance 
in Swartkrans, Krondroy and Dromalin caves and these caves are often associated with Paranthropus. Dohomo is also known from these caves. Their remains are comparatively scarce to Paranthropus, making home attribution unlikely. Stone tools from Cromdry could possibly be attributed to Paranthropus as no homo have been found there yet. These bone tools were not manufactured or purposely shaped for a task. However, since the bones display no weathering, were not scavenged randomly, and there is a preference displayed for certain bones, raw materials were likely specifically hand-picked. This could indicate a similar cognitive ability to contemporary Stone Age Homo. Paranthropus represents an important branch in the hominin evolutionary tree. Their existence overlaps with early Homo species, suggesting that Paranthropus and early Homo shared a common ancestor and coexisted for a considerable period. This coexistence raises questions about competition for resources and potential interactions between the two genera. Paranthropus may have occupied a different ecological niche, focusing on consuming tougher vegetation, while early Homo species may have relied more on scavenging, hunting, and consuming a wider range of food sources. This species inhabited various regions of Africa, including South Africa, East Africa, and Ethiopia. Their fossils have been discovered in sites such as Swartkrans and Sturkfontein in South Africa, Uldavoy Gorge in Tanzania, and Kobe Fora in Kenya. These locations provide valuable insights into the paleo environments in which Paranthropus thrived. The presence of Paranthropus fossils in different regions suggests their adaptability to diverse habitats ranging from woodlands to grasslands. Paranthropus went extinct approximately one million years ago, coinciding with major environmental climatic changes in Africa. The emergence and spread of Homo erectus, with its more advanced technological abilities, may have contributed to the decline of Paranthropus. Additionally, shifts in vegetation patterns and increased competition for resources might have affected their survival. However, the exact reason for their extinction remains speculative and continue to be the subject of scientific investigation. Paranthropus represents a fascinating chapter in human evolutionary history. Their robust cranial and dental features, specialized diet, and coexistence with early Homo species provide valuable insights into the diverse adaptations and evolutionary paths undertaken by our ancestors. By studying Paranthropus, we gain a deeper understanding of the complex interplay between environmental changes, dietary adaptations, and the emergence of the Homo genus, ultimately contributing to our understanding of what it means to be human. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.